Hi, and welcome. This is uh, Sports Corner to Neil, and I'm, of course, Neil Roseanne. And uh, once again, off to the races here with college football uh, week two predictions. And, well, let's just say last week was a little bit uneventful due to all those blowouts, but <sighs> whatever. We have a lot of good matchups this week, and I have my first pick of the NFL season, and I even have a little bit of Cody's picks for you. So, without further ado, let's start out here with tonight, Thursday night, um... Arizona at number nine, Oklahoma State. This should be a really easy game for the uh, Cowboys of Oklahoma State. They'll be able to pass around Arizona. Nick Foles, not that hard of a team. Both me and Cody have them pretty darn easily. Next matchup, uh, 21 Missouri at Arizona State. It's going to be an iffy one. Uh, we both have uh, Missouri. Well, Cody has number 21 Missouri taking uh, out the Sun Devils, more than likely because of their great uh, showing last week. But I think Arizona State um, is going to be a really good team at home. They'll be have a solid, solid defensive line like they always have. And maybe that offense will show up, and hopefully they'll be able to really show <laughs> Missouri up, which I think they will. Next, we have Oregon State at number 8, Wisconsin. Both me and Cody have Wisconsin. Once again, Monty Ball going to be too physical for that Oregon State uh, defense. And just plain to say Oregon State is an experienced enough. This is a really good Wisconsin team becoming a perennial powerhouse. Watch out for them in the Big Ten. Uh, next matchup, staying in the Big Ten, Toledo at number 15, Oklahoma State. I mean, sorry, Ohio State. And Ohio State, both me and Cody have them. They showed a little bit of rust last week, you know, just getting used to their players. Uh, this is a tougher Toledo team than the Akron team Ohio State took on. So I'll be a little bit closer. Uh, maybe a little bit of a scare at the beginning for the Buckeyes, but they'll be able to power through and finish with another W. Next up, we have Florida Atlantic at 17, Michigan State. And once again, another pushover game. But both me and Cody have MSU in a landslide. Um, maybe, hopefully, a little bit easier than last week when the Spartans ran in some trouble with that Youngstown State team. But Florida Atlantic doesn't look to be any trouble. Uh, here comes one that we differ at once again. Number 16, Mississippi State at Auburn. Auburn had a little bit of a scare at home against Utah State. And Cody has them. Uh, they looked a little bit shaky, a little bit scared. We'll have to see how they do on their first SEC test because I believe Mississippi State's going to uh, do really good and um, show them that miss that they are a legitimate team this year. Not many people are used to uh, you know Mississippi State being up there, but I feel like they have a really good team. They have a really good run game, solid SEC team. Watch, they might get a little bit knocked up later in the year just because of how uh, they just you know uh, it's just the SEC. Who knows what could happen? But I'm pretty sure. Mississippi State has, an, has a really good uh, win this week against Auburn. Uh, me and, then me and Cody also agree on this next one. Number three, Alabama at 23, Penn State. Should be a really good game, but Alabama is just going to be too good. They've just got a lot more speed, and I just feel like they're an all-around better team than Penn State. Penn State will probably give them a little bit of trouble at the beginning, not much after that. Then next up, 11, Virginia Tech at East Carolina, which everyone know was a shocker a couple of years ago. But me and Cody both have, are going with the ACC Hokies, uh, Virginia Tech in other words. <laughs> and they're going to be doing really good, I believe. Beamer Ball will be working on their special teams, just going all over the place, keeping up uh, what they started last year. And they'll take, uh, yeah, just not that big of a crowd. I don't think it will really shake the Hokies to be there, so easy win. Um, next one, Nevada at number 13, Oregon. Uh, Oregon getting knocked down at 13, as you can see. But me and Cody both have Oregon. It's hard to beat the Ducks at home. Uh, defense is always solid, especially in the fourth quarter, unless it's the LSU game. But I think that was a really tough team that they played, and Nevada is not even close to the caliber of them. But it'll be a little bit close to the beginning. But, of course, the Ducks will tire them out with that speed. On me, uh, 25, TCU at Air Force. TCU had a little bit of trouble last week. Uh, me and Cody have them easily winning over Air Force, getting a rebound win after Baylor. Uh, number 12, South Carolina at Georgia. Uh, South Carolina had a little bit of issues last week. That was because their quarter, uh, Garcia was out, Stephen Garcia was out for the first quarter. Um, won't be this week, so it's going to be entirely different. They'll be able to turn it around. They're going to beat, I think they're going to beat Georgia. Cody has Georgia on the other hand, but, uh, you know, maybe going to have a little bit of a uh, spirit of coming home after losing to Boise State, want to really show 
that they don't want to get out to that uh, 0-2 start. So it'll be a really interesting game there. Uh, Fresno State at number 10, Nebraska, the newcomer newcomer to the uh, Big Ten, will be rolling against Fresno State. Both me and Cody have them. Huh. BYU at number 24, Texas. It should be a really interesting game, but I just think this is starting to come back to the Texas of old. It's not quite there, but uh, BYU isn't uh, as good as a lot of people think they are. Texas rolls easy. Uh, um, newcomer to the big uh, Pac-12, I should say. Utah taking on USC. Both me and Cody have USC. Um, USC at home will be a little bit tough. Matt Barkley will be able to chuck the ball around really good. He'll uh, beat up that weak Utah, I think, weaker Utah team because they haven't been able to recruit in the Pac-12 system yet. So they'll be a little bit weaker. It'll be a down year for Utah this year, and this will just be another one of their losses. Um, now here comes some of the bigger games of the week. Well, the biggest game is that in my mind of the week for uh, proving grounds for both teams. Notre Dame at Michigan. First game underneath the uh, big lights at the big house. And it's going to be a show. But once again, I personally have a little bit of a vendetta against Notre Dame this year. I'll be reluctant to pick them just because of how overrated they are. But Denard Robinson's going to be able to tear apart that defense. And with the problem that Notre Dame has had at its quarterback position, the defense for Michigan's also going to be there. Both me and Cody have Michigan. I think it'll be a little close, um, but Michigan will be right away the winner in that game. Now here's because we're in Central here. We got uh, CMU at Kentucky. It's going to be interesting. Cody said he couldn't go against his uh, team here. Had to pick CMU, but with how Ryan Radcliffe played in the last game and the defense was holding up with the rest of the team not doing so well, I don't think that they can comprehend at all even get close to a Kentucky team so I pick Kentucky but let that be fuel for the Chippewas hopefully maybe they'll beat them but I just don't see it hopefully they will though I hope like Ryan Radcliffe is watching now he'll get all pumped up and say you know what this kid doesn't believe in me and now I can go out and get there but until he shows me that I don't think they're gonna win it'll be Kentucky easy and then tonight the game of the night of course be the opening game of the NFL season Saints at the defending champion Packers. It'll be a great game, we both believe, uh, me and Cody. Cody says that he's more of an NFL expert, so you'll probably actually see him on camera uh, after the co- after I get away for a little bit more college picks and we go towards NFL picks, which, by the way, little plug here, but I'm going to be having my NFL preview coming up, tell you who's going to win all the divisions, what's going to happen this year, and we'll just hold on and see if it stays true. But I have... Cody has the Packers 24 over the Saints, who have 21, and I myself picked 31-24. Now, we'll see if that holds true. I did pick the last Super Bowl within one point, so a little bit of bragging rights there. But thank you for watching. Um, Hopefully I'll get some more print stuff. You'll see a little bit, a few more articles here. I'll start talking about the opening of the NFL season and stuff. And, well, happy football, everybody. It's all back. It's all here. Get your fantasy teams ready because it's going to be a really, really fun year. So thank you for watching, and hopefully you'll get a video from me soon and some print, and I'll see you.